Hello, one and all. Welcome to the A to the K Wrestling Show, where we're talking forbidden doors. Forbidden doors. That one in your house. Yeah. You're not allowed to open. No. What's it's always in there, there in the periphery of your vision, yeah. waiting creepily. Mm. That one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to open it. See what creepy right? shit's inside. That's the plan. Um, terrifying, terrifying things, Carl. Oh yes. Um, but in this, in this case, the things, most of them, were good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it, it was, was just overall. It was, a, it was a fairly solid pay per view. It was, was fair. not, um, to, not to spoilers, you know. Well, exactly. And um, what a what a good way to kick it off with the world heavyweight champion MJF taking on Tanahashi. I am quite curious how you feel about this. Okay, I quite like MJF's whole approach to this match that he's just sort of putting down the um, the New Japan stuff and like doesn't bother. I'm Even surprised. his attire and everything was all about it, wasn't it? Yeah, no. it was, um, uh, New Japan's an indie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and. I, I quite like that almost disrespectful approach, given that he's playing the heel. I was quite surprised, and maybe this was the whole point. Like, I was expecting him to lose, kind of, on the back. What? You, you thought he was going to lose? Well, this is the thing. Like, it almost sold me on it. He might lose because of almost how disrespectful he's being. Mm. It's like, surely they're going to give them the win to, like, he has a bit of a comeuppance. Yeah. But then, in reality, now, I'm like, well, at least they're world champion and they're biggest star, so... Wasn't yeah. gonna happen, was it? But they almost sold me on it because of how he was treating New Japan, yeah. and it's like surely they're gonna I, give them a bit of like respect. Back I, I honestly but... didn't think he was gonna turn up. I thought they were gonna do some kind of swear. You were saying that. You were um, saying I that. thought we were gonna get Punk or something. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But then obviously they, they announced the Punk match, so it was like, yeah. well, what, what's gonna happen? But he did show up. Um, the match itself, I thought, was fine. I think MJF definitely carried the match. Mm. I know Tanahashi's been around for a while, mm. but it was like he was kind of running in treacle. <laughs> a little um, like you could tell he knew all the stuff but it was just taking a long time to get it done right, right. Um, which mm. yeah wasn't ideal um, but to be fair MJF I think did an excellent job well, you know, I, I mean let's be honest uh, and it kind of takes me back to his um, his original pipe bomb if you will when he asked Tony to fire him and he mentioned about like originally people wanted to sort of try and suggest he weren't a good wrestler but He's yeah. proved time and again he is. He and I think does, it's like he? he is he's he's very well trained and, and he's very good in the ring. And I yeah. think because he's good on the mic, people tend to forget that. And I think this is another one of them examples where you go, Yeah, he is fucking good at what he does. Yeah. I think he he's got the balance so like in his favour because he hardly ever wrestles. So every time he does, it's a constant reminder of oh, fucking yeah. he's really good. Actually. Exactly. Yeah. Like if he was right putting on these like clinics all the time. You'd be like, well, you know, like well, some people. Yeah, the fact is, it's like an attraction in it to see him actually yeah. wrestle. Um, yeah. but I thought yeah, he's got that good. down, really, hasn't he? Yeah, and I, um, I love the way he was like imitating him with his like bowed legs and doing the air guitar and stuff, just classic things. But um, yeah, he had to use the dynamite diamond ring to get the win, which kind of makes sense, I suppose. But again, he's kind of put a bit of respect on New Japan as yeah. well. He couldn't win clean. Yeah, you know, I think because it's MJF, it's not as bad. If it was, you know, what I mean. I, if it was someone else who was like as over as MJF is, and then they had to cheat to win, you'd be a bit against someone like Tanahashi. No disrespect, yeah. but like he's clearly getting on. Yeah. So it was kind of like, did he really need to cheat to win? But with it being MJF, I think it was fine. Mm. Um, thing that still annoys me though about AW, especially in this match, um, a couple of matches in the night. To be fair, is how over the top and involved the refs are. Yeah, I think sadly, I think Aubrey's kind of been the the conduit to this. As yeah, but were. I mean, in this one, it was Bryce. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It, it but I think I think she's been like the OG yeah. popular ref. Yeah, and I think it's well, she gets all the shit. And it's not yeah. just her. Um, no, but I think that, it's it's not Aubrey's fault. But I think as an audience, people liked Aubrey, so then they were like, "Well, we'll give you more Aubrey." Yeah. And it's like, "Do you like referees? Should we give you more <laughs> referees?" Yeah. And I feel like the like the fan base has kind of encouraged it. So it's not one's fault really, but I feel like yeah. they kind of go, "You like referees getting involved yeah, and stuff?" Definitely. And it's like, "Well, no, not really." Like yeah. sometimes like in, maybe. But... In WWE, there, there was like there was Dale Hebner. He'd occasionally do stuff like this, and it's like, "What a tale!" You know what I mean? But yeah. it's like every referee gets involved, and the whole thing where he's like, "What are you gonna do?" And then he has to like fucking do a, a high kick and get his hand off. It's just like it's mm. too much focus on the refs. It yeah, annoys yeah. me. Um, so that's the only thing that took away from it for me. But yeah, MJF I mean, gets the win. I think refs are notorious attention seekers <laughs> about how they dress. I know, yeah. I couldn't be it's more like discreet, fucking me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a very good point. <laughs> yeah. uh, What's next? Stars? Yeah. We've already got the stripes. Makes sense. It's nearly the 4th of July. Um, we may have just put an idea in there. Referees, it's going to be dressed like flags. <laughs> anyway. Why not? Um, so yeah, MJF gets the win. Solid opening to the show. 
Um, we follow this up already, star potential with CM Punk, um, and he was booed the fuck out the building. Uh, I, we ain't in Chicago anymore. <laughs> I, I feel like um, he's getting a very mixed bag reaction. This was probably, no, I say probably, this was definitely more booze than it was years. He's definitely getting a mixed bag reaction, isn't he? Because there's yeah. a lot of people like the John Cena reaction, if you will. Yes. Well, by the way, before, is, before, before you get into this, because I've just thought this in my head, why has no one made a meme of like from Wizard of Oz? And it's like, instead of Toto, we're not in Kansas anymore, it's in with Larry. And it's like, Larry, we're not Chicago anymore. <laughs> so that's just all the fans that needs to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do think Punk is very good at um, embracing the crowd reaction, though. Mm. Like, he didn't let it phase him. Like, if that, all due respect to John Cena, I'm not like, how much better is Punk <laughs> than John Cena? Because I'm not opening that fucking can of worms. But, like, I think John Cena kind of always struggled with being yeah. the good guy and getting booed. He was and more he was stubborn like, as well, what, wasn't he? What do we do about that? Yeah. And whereas I think Punk just kind of embraces it. Like, oh, like when he's done, like, um, like he's nodded to being uh, referred to similar to Hulk Hogan and stuff like mm. that. He just, he plays with those sort of yeah. comments and those reactions. And it's like, you know what? He knows he knows how to handle the crowd, which is good. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, he, he kind of feeds off it, doesn't he? Like, even like the whole clobbering time thing, like he didn't go with that he was just like uh and then just like nope <laughs> you know I, mean? I am so. surprised they aren't going full heel with this given the reaction and the turn mm. but it's a bit of a weird one isn't it because he like the one of his thirst fit thirst um it's because of them shorts <laughs> one, of the, <laughs> one of the first things he's done like when he got back was um he, he put held that was it someone's banner up over the mm. um the, the trans kids yeah, issue yeah. and now he's got like half the internet calling him a pedo which is to be honest whether you agree with the, the situation or not it's like well he's not a pedo let's not throw that term around yeah. because you know pedos are horrendous and mm -hmm. you know want to sort of dilute what a pedo is yeah. if you know what I mean um, I didn't think we'd ever be talking about that on a podcast know, yeah. there you go <laughs> um, but like he kind of split a certain crowd into like you, you support him for that or you hate him for that mm. and now because that's become that sort of outside of wrestling you know political thing almost it's like well turn them heel now are we uh, uh, like is that does that then come across as like aw reacting to it and going well of course he's a bad guy he's a trans kid <laughs> like like what do you do with yeah. that now do you know what i mean but yeah like think... for me the natural way to go with this is turn them heel well aw doesn't have faces and heels remember um, yeah okay everyone's just you know <laughs> everybody had just misunderstood two completely separate tunnels at one time yeah. the goodies and bad oh, yeah. but no yeah there's no such thing as a face <laughs> or a heel isn't that right luchasaurus <laughs> jungle boy yeah. Christian. <laughs> the list goes on. Um, Just that faction. They all still yeah. hate each other, but they've all, and, they're all bad guys now. And Marco Stump for some reason, <laughs> even though he's not there anymore. Yeah. But yeah, you too. It's like they've all slowly turned heel, but they still don't speak to each other. I yeah. find that interesting. Yeah, strange though. Um, <laughs> but, you know, there's not much to say about this. It was as predictable as you could expect, really. The match was fine. I like the little yeah, callback to his, um, that little shoot interview he did with Samoa Joe, where he's like, Lariat, Lariat, <laughs> Kojima, Kojima, and just doing that in the corner. So that was fun, um, but the right outcome, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah. And to be fair, you talk about him going full here. Like there was, he showed a sign of respect afterwards, shook his hand and stuff, and left. So I don't know what they're doing with it, but yeah. <laughs> kid, kid, <laughs> kid. So yeah, it was a match, and it happened. And yeah, it, it, went, it was. It was good. It. It's not. Let's be honest. Like as good as Punk is, and as good as the match was, this isn't the one you're gonna come out of the pay per view going, oh, how good was that?" No. Like it was good. Maybe the best he's looked since he's been back as well. So yeah, to be fair, that, that is a strong statement. That hopefully is a for thing. AW he can carry it on and not get injured and stuff again. It's clearly the shots. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them long boys. Um, so the next, match, the, the next match was the Fatal 4-Way. So Orange Cassidy uh, defending against Zack Sabre Jr., Shibata and Daniel Garcia. I'm really surprised at the finish here. Yeah. Yeah. Think Orange Cassidy was losing? I honestly was convinced of it. I, I was actually, I didn't know who to give it to. I think in my predictions, I may have actually even said Zack Sabre Jr. Mm. But you know, when you're like, OC's had it a while, and I feel like now's the time, and they just didn't do it. I'm very, very surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. I think when we did the predictions for this, it was like when only like four matches were announced. So I don't think we knew where this was going yet. I think we knew mm. it would be something like this. But the fact that it was a four way, and the fact that three of the people in there were title holders. Made me think, okay, he's definitely going to retain the thing. Because mm. the only thing they could have done was put it on Garcia. Because he's the only guy who didn't have a belt. Or put two belts on somebody. But... Well, mm. yeah. Um, so I, I feel like they kind of spoiled it a little bit with that. But yeah, who's going to beat him? I'd, and I'm going to probably get a lot of shit for this. But I'm not that over on Orange Cassidy, you know. I, I like what he does. But I just, in a title position, like he wasn't... How do I put it without sounding like an asshole? 
he was always like his gimmick is kind of one of the things where it's like yeah it's fun to watch but he doesn't really need to be our champion yeah you know I th- it's like imagine like having like Rey Mysterio who's like really fun to watch imagine having him as like your world cha- oh wait <laughs> you're still over that you? no fair, no so. no I can see where you're <laughs> No, I, I, yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I don't mind the guy. Maybe it's the fact that he's a he's a champ or what. I don't know. But sadly, I just think I think that's the I think the issue is like that gimmick kind of has like a ceiling, a ceiling, and you go after a while, like because we thought it was really fun. We mm. when we first started the podcast, we we sort of joked about it. I loved his the whole gimmick. I loved the, even the stuff he was doing on TikTok where he was giving advice that was just barely advice because it's OC. And then now you go well, okay, we we get how this works. Yeah, you know, it's like still being amazed by a Hulk Hogan match. Like Hulk Hogan was great, but yeah. you know the atomic leg drops it's, coming. It's the same it's like, beat all the time. Yeah, yeah, you, so, know. you know, it's like that. I think that's what it is, and I, it kind of goes with the gimmick because the whole gimmick is low energy. But it's like hit your beats and then yeah. win your match, and then off you go. It's like. <laughs> I don't know. It's it, to me. It's like <laughs> some tamer version of Ricky Gervais at the uh, Golden Globes. <laughs> <laughs> Come up here. Thank, Thank you, God. Award. <laughs> Thank you, God. Oh, God. So you come in. Um, <laughs> do your thumb. Uh, <laughs> beats him. Oh, God. Well, no, I think like again. I, I'm not. I'm not having a go at him. But like, what what's he done to to keep it fresh? To keep people engaged with, with... keep it freshly squeezed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't want to turn it into a shit on Cassie. I'm just a bit like, yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit tired of it now. Yeah. So someone needs to take the belt off him and just go back to just being like the goofy Orange Cassidy as opposed mm-hmm. to like, this guy fights everybody and he beats everybody. It's like the laziest man in the world. Like, why is he beating yeah. everyone? And to be honest, I think I'm probably still a little bit. I can't remember who it was, but somebody referenced him like, he's he's the Hulk. He, he's the Hulk. For fuck's sake. He's the Undertaker <laughs> to Tony's yeah. Vince. And I'm like, no, he's, he's not the Undertaker. No, that's Darby. <laughs> No, they said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this was a match. It was fun. It happened. Um, and yeah, no titles change hands. Yay. Um, Exciting speaking stuff. of things you could see coming though, um, Jungle Boy takes the loss against um, Sonata. Jungle Boy, <laughs> what is the secret of your heel turn? <laughs> um, so yeah, he takes a loss, which I think you know New, New Japan needed to actually get some wins on this, of course. So yep. Jungle Boy Jack was <laughs> Why not Jungle Boy to lose. Um, and yeah, it was a pretty underwhelming match, but then again, talk about predictability, turned on Hook after the match. and like, wh- What's he going to do to get himself over? And, like, to- he's quite unlikable anyway. <laughs> I don't know what it is. There is something naturally unlikable. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not sure that's like. I'm not sure it's like he's a heel or we just. Eh. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Kind of, just something about him, isn't it? It's just. A, it's more of a just go away. Yeah. No, you Ben. Just... <laughs> like, okay, I just. He's. You know what? The bottom line is, you put the microphone in his hand, and we all realize he didn't really have a personality. That's the bottom. Line. Yeah. Let's, let's be honest. Right? I feel like where's he going to go from here, character-wise now, because he's like you know. Tarzan boy. I mean, maybe he swapped a line cloth for an like, actual wrestler type. Yeah. Like, do you think he's just going to be Jack Perry? Do you think he's going to like shave his head, grow a goatee, come out with Anna Jay? I think he needs a very dramatic change in character and attitude to actually carry on. Yeah. Mm. To be honest, I'm not saying it's impossible. We've seen it happen before, where people have completely reinvented themselves and done well. Um, but like even the heel turns, like, and yeah. Well, you and I have. Pretty underwhelmed anyway by Jungle Boy, let's be fair. So yeah. maybe we're not the best judges of this. Just a but... less talented Griff Garrison. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is <laughs> Jungle Boy? Um so yeah. Interesting. Let's see what happens on Dynamite with where this goes, but match itself as expected. Um we then got quite a fun match to be fair. I saw a lot of people on Reddit saying like this is professional wrestling. But obviously Blackpool Combat like, Club. Very good. <laughs> yeah. And what is this? <laughs> Puppy. Um, so we This have... is a phone. Like, yes, well done. <laughs> Isn't that like some advertising campaign where it's like this is and it's like the name of the country or something? Isn't that like a thing? Some travel campaign? Oh, I... Mm, maybe my I don't know why the way yeah. you said that my I went to the to the military advert and I was like if you can fix a bike then you can fix a radar navigation system I was like how the fuck did we get there yeah it's quite <laughs> what quite, quite a leap that isn't it to be fair 
Um, but yeah, so next match, Blackpool Combat Club, um, they teamed up with Takeshita and uh, Umino, take on the Elite, Eddie Kingston and Ishii. You are, you are killing these pronunciations, man. You notice how I'm not saying the first names on any of these. <laughs> yeah, just guys just playing off like, I've known them for years. Yeah, you know, fine. Ishii, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, fun match. Um, yeah. Everyone, everyone got the spots in. Um, I dare say, this is wrestling. Look, they're all in a ring and everything. It's great. Right, but yeah, well done. Well done. I, annoyingly, I'm pointing here. Like, I know, yeah. What's you think, you know, how long has it been since we moved this, to this studio? This is wrestling. And here you right are. Right here. So, I know, like fucking the Wizard of Oz, yeah. This is a microphone. You know, lifting the, lifting the veil. Giving everybody, you know, behind the scenes. Sorry. How we do this thing. This is a green screen. Sorry. No. <laughs> Um, so yeah fun match I thought uh, I, I was kind of it could have gone either way this um, in terms of who was the winner I was surprised that it wasn't an AEW person to pick up the win it basically just came down to the New Japan guys at the end but um, it, reportedly they were kept complete opposite end of the building to CM Punk as well yeah. that's so that's that's a good idea yeah I also like the fact that uh, Blackpool Combat Club came out to Moxley's New Japan theme which is a lot more sinister instead of just like Murphy it's yeah, like it's how badass we are like turn around it's got fucking T-birds on the jacket <laughs> <laughs> go <weasel. laughs> what's that other musical where it's like that I, I don't even actually know you know I just saw like uh, is your family guy who made a joke about that like like rival gangs but not like real gangs yeah. like, like musical gangs it's a West Side story I was like is that what it is? Maybe. Um, hey, you probably know your way around a musical better than I do, Carl. <laughs> well, um, but yeah, it, I don't know what it is about Blackpool Combat Club. They're meant to be like the most vicious kind of badasses, and sometimes they just come across quite cheesy, but they came across sinister in this, I thought. Um, I love the stuff with Moxley and Kingston. Obviously, they've got super real-life kind of, super real-life friendship. Looks like you and I. It's so super. Um, <laughs> but I love the fact that like they were like, okay, well, I'm going to fight you then. But then there was a point in the match where Kingston was like, Saving Moxley and his team, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You're on hard to you. Um, so yeah. it was fun, I thought. Um, and say what you want about the books, say what you want about Hangman. I, I know. Um, and yes, many do. But I think they're always putting on fun matches. People hate it. Yeah, and it is a bit contrived is, and the super kicks everywhere. Annoyingly, though, it's, it's, it's this whole what's the word? People who've decided what wrestling should be. You know, it's like, we're not allowed to have fun. It's too goofy. <laughs> it's like, who decided what's goofy and what's not? Tried to I mean, come fun on. into wrestling. Like, the fuck is that about? Like, historically, we've had people dressing up as fucking giants and shit. We had a giant turkey at one point. Yeah. Like, who decides what what's acceptable goofy and what isn't? Exactly. Just let them have fun. Yeah. Let's, anyway, let, let, let's uh, ask Goofy himself. <laughs> well, maybe that's why people needed to be like this. This is wrestling because, like, you know, yeah. they weren't sure. Exactly. Looking at those people in like the singlets with the little earmuffs on, they're like, <laughs> <"Rah, I'm wrestling." laughs> uh, if only we could have reviewed South Park, we'll get community guidelines violations. Yeah. Yep. We saw it, and that's all that counts. Exactly. You'll never see us see it because YouTube don't want you to see that. Um, <laughs> what YouTube don't want you to see. <laughs> that's a thumbnail. <laughs> thing, thing to but yeah, fun match. Um, next one, short and sweet this one, but you know, again, a bit of controversy. After this as well, to be honest. Yeah. A reasonably solid match. I think Willow's got like a, a, a load of talent and is definitely like a future star in the business, if not considered already a star, you know, already a champion. But like a career's ahead of her, isn't it? So, you know, definitely a future star in the business. But um, yeah, like I, I'm curious how you feel about this and I, I, we'll, we'll go back to the match um, very briefly. But um, I've seen a lot of controversy on the internet over the fact that um, Tony Storm called her a cow. Mm. and everyone's like but that's just she's she's Australian that's she's, yeah. she's not like saying it as like a fat thing mm. like that's just she's just called someone a cow you know what I mean yeah. but people are like no nah, that's mean and it's like how do you feel about this do you feel like that was too far for a bad guy to call someone a name no I don't think so didn't I are you didn't, sure didn't Soraya are you sure are you Why? sure the heel isn't allowed to to maybe say bad things to a person oh no not like not in today's day and age oh, you okay. can't say yeah. anything uh, maybe that was too far yeah. but didn't um, didn't Soraya get some grief for calling someone a cunt or a twat or something and it was like oh, I just use that all the time British <laughs> well that's the thing like again that's another thing that she probably shares with Tony Storm that the word cunt like 
like it's even used in friendly terms like mm. americans get really upset about it. we're probably going to get like youtube so markers on here for saying it a couple of times but like and we still put the podcast up as a uh, safe not explicit <laughs> safe <laughs> fun for all the family <laughs> thanks kids don't tell your parents <laughs> that sounded really weird <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like what scm okay. punk may or may not have said um think. now we're getting Supposedly. violent yeah um <laughs> But yeah, and it's things like that. It's like they, I mean, they find the the, the word "cunt" super offensive, and mm. and that, that's just a word. That it, it is just a word. And a sensitive and a body part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, stop being such sensitive. Girl. <laughs> but yeah, back to the match itself. It was good. I thought it was short and sweet. Um, and again, I don't think the outcome was ever really going to be anything but. And mm. we'll kind of come on to this as we talk about the end of it. But a very predictable show, I think. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't say that because you didn't score as well as me on the prediction series. What? But yeah, you know <laughs> you can very much call it predictable, <laughs> I guess. Yes. Uh, so yeah, it was it was a good match though. I thought, and I, I did like this kind of, but the outcast got banned from ringside, um, so Tony had to do it on her own, and it was good mm-hmm. to see them actually stay banned from ringside, which we'll come on to in a minute because that didn't always happen. Comes back to my beef with the referees, which is mad because yeah, the referees should be all over that. Even the yeah, time they like indeed. Um, which takes us on to fucking match of the fucking night should have ended the pay-per-view this is the ma- how do you follow this it was I okay it was I I'm just trying to wind you up to be it's honest fucking a brilliant bit. it was it was match of the year again likes to cause a bit of controversy it's like, he did a move that was potentially too unsafe it's like oh fuck yeah oh. like p- people will just fucking you know find one little tiny thing to what a complain lot. about what I love, right, the internet, and I don't want to spoil matches going forward, but the internet, right, uh, is like losing the shit over the Tiger Driver, mm. right? So it's like, it's too, they shouldn't have let it happen, this is too unsafe and all this, that you wouldn't get this and do to be all the usual bollocks, right? And Kenny's fine, Will's fine, everyone's fine, mm-hmm. right? Fucking elbow drop caused the biggest damage <laughs> yeah. in this pay-per-view. Yeah. But no one's going, we need to get, it's an unsafe move, the elbow, because obviously it isn't, so sometimes shit can happen. I, don't be wrong, you have to be very, very careful and be very sure what you're doing to yeah. do that move. But they both agreed to do the spot and they handled it correctly because well, like, they are both professionals. Exactly. It, it's not like it, it was an accident and he dropped on his head or did it anything. Like, it yeah, it was wasn't a, a botch. Predetermined, agreed like mm. thing. And you can argue, well, Kenny, at uh, this stage in his career, should be taking them risks or whatever you want to say. But as you say, everyone came out of it pretty unscathed in the in yeah. the, the long you know the long term. So it's all fine in my opinion. But yeah, I love this match. It was so yeah. good. Quality, quality. Um, Again, Will Osprey, absolute star. It was mint. Like I've I've never seen him really at all. Do you know what I mean? I've seen one or two little brief things in New Japan and just thought, oh, he's all right, Tim. He's f- fucking best wrestler in the world. <laughs> it's Sam, so I love him. He's fantastic. He's got everything. He's got that like the the charisma in there, like the yeah, fucking just, heel persona. I and I understand what he said in interviews, but you kind of hope he ends up in AEW yeah. and on our TV screens regularly. Yeah. Like the fact that he's just quite content to be like, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll, 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 we'll cover it in the news, like, oh, but he is clamoring to be at um, All In, and he fucking should be. He should be. So. But yeah, I I loved all this. I loved all the throwbacks to Wrestle Kingdom, where basically he was trying to get revenge and everything that Kenny did to him, trying to throw his head through tables and stuff like that, which I thought was um, awesome. What did you think about the Canadian flag stuff for Shawn Michaels? But he could have got himself in serious shit with that. Like he yeah. said in the, in the press conference afterwards, it was like, you know, is there going to be any legal repercussions for this? And he was like, I don't know. And Tony was like, all I'm saying is I'm glad that you work for New Japan. <laughs> <laughs> but, so. uh, you see, I, I always like... I don't know. It's a it's a thing. I, I get all offense in it. No, desecration but, of the I mean, flag. I suppose this is the thing, and I'm sure it might be in this country. But I think it's hard as a as a Brit to be so bothered by a flag. And don't be yeah. wrong, I have absolutely nothing against patriotism, but it's a flag. Yeah. Um. Well, as you said, it, where people uh, throw around the term, you know, cunt, in like with yeah. endearing quality. So. And it's I don't know. It's for me. I think I get your point. I get why it could be controversial. I guess and I uh, illegal apparently. But it's like, I'm just saying, it's a flag. Yeah. Like, surely the intent is the thing, isn't it? Mm. Like, because isn't, like, it's the intent to, like, uh, what's the word? You know, like, you're being deliberately disrespectful to the, I suppose he is, I don't know. I'm trying to explain it in a way, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, it's not like you're burning the flag because you, you hate the country and yeah. you're going to do something, you know, like almost terrorism in a way do you know what I mean mm. it's, it, it's, a stunt, it's a stunt for a, a show yeah. to get a reaction out of people 
Do you know? Yeah. I, I I never personally saw that and was like, oh, but then you go, well, yeah, I kind of get why there might be a repercussion there because people, yeah. people get, well, you know. I've not heard of any repercussions. Oh, so that should be on a poll, damn it. <laughs> hopefully that's not because he's like locked up in Canada somewhere. Maybe. Never see the light of day. Oh, um, <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> so many awesome matches, so many great manoeuvres. Um, I love the fucking him hitting the V-trig- V-trigger on Kenny and Kenny kicking out at one. And I was like, what the f-? No one kicks out of it, and let alone at one. So that in itself was mental. Mm. Um, and obviously, yeah, the, the Tiger driver you've already spoke about. The thing, though, that bothered me is Don Callis was ejected and then he still comes back. Mm. And get not not just comes back and stays at ringside. He gets involved. He's grabbing hold of fucking people. He hands someone a screwdriver. Do you know what I mean? It's like I don't remember him grabbing hold of fucking people. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you not see that? No. Some of them fans are crazy. Yeah. Um, but no. So and it was just okay. And it kind of like, well, what was the point in ejecting him in the first place? Then yeah. so that was a bit stupid. But yeah, it was yeah. so good. Um, you know, screwdriver to the head. Kenny still, you know, manages to fucking put his foot on the rope and takes everything and plus the kitchen sink and he finally gets the job done so mm. new champion Will Ospreay usually the old screwdriver to the head does it but <laughs> well, exactly. well, in this case um, a very murdery uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah I I yeah loved it and um, yeah no quality match like you say match of the night Will Ospreay has got a new a new number one fan I think because he's amazing you this is it me this is wrestling <laughs> um, oh, he pointed his junk <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's right. Uh, anyway, um, anyway. Um, the, the annoying thing is, though, I feel like, and not no disrespect to the subsequent matches, but because this should have been the main event, it's kind of all downhill from here. Well, not in a major, major way. Well, this next one was for, for me. It was okay, the, I think it was the worst match of the night. So it didn't help the fact that Sammy Guevara nearly killed Sting after about like three minutes into the match. <laughs> Um, you know, people oh, talk about Sammy heart, being right. dangerous, but it's like fucking hell, he's a sixty odd year old man. Like, take care of him. Hold on. I'm gonna have to argue with him on that one. Sammy Guevara is not a sixty odd year old man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's many things. <laughs> <laughs> too Sorry, too sure. I like that. Um but yeah, that kinda of took all the kind of, fair play to Sting for carrying on through it all and stuff, but it kinda of took the sales out of it. Um Jericho wasn't great that night. Um as you know, Sammy wasn't on his best. And just a lot of it I don't know, it just kinda of lost me. And I get that you need a match to come down from after that and you kinda of, but this was probably like the worst match for me. Yeah. But I mean I'm to be honest, the fact that it, it wasn't that great, it kinda of stung. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Terrible, I'll terrible leave. person. Um, which does take us on to the main event, and um, it was good. I yeah. don't think it lived up to the hype. I'll be honest. Mm. They're meant to be the two best wrestlers in the world, and it was it was very slow and methodical. And I know that they were trying to do that purposefully, but it's like once you've just had the fucking whirlwind that was the matches. Maybe if this was in is- in isolation. Well, he's yeah. thinking of something funny to say because he's got a smirk on his face. <laughs> no, say your joke. No, no, I was just, uh, I was just wondering uh, when we're going to get to the, uh, the probably the biggest talk point of this match. But go on. I want to hear what you had to say. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, I thought it was good. I don't think it lived up to the hype. Um, match wise, was fine. Obviously, we are going to talk about the big talking point um, mm. where there was an injury suffered in this. There was. There was. It's um, yeah. I mean. I don't I just want to totally harp on this. Like, it, it, this probably was, I, 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 I'm curious, I don't want to speak for you, but I would say this probably was the second best match of the night. Yeah, maybe. Maybe? Yeah. I think this was a quality match. It was, it was good. I just don't think it, it lived up to expectations for me. Uh, okay, well, let's go right back to the beginning. How did you feel about uh, Brian Danielson's entrance? What with the final countdown song? Mm. It was a good throwback, I yeah. think. I think a lot of people love that that yeah. uh, throwback. I wasn't like a massive Ring of Honor fan though, so it probably yeah, meant a yeah, lot more to me. Yeah, it probably probably had more like, impact. Eh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I was just wondering how you felt about the entrance because I think it made that that subtle nod and almost made it like a like a bit of a bigger deal mm. in in some ways, even if you don't fully get what's going on, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think match quality wise, it was a it was a really good match, and the injury was just a freak accident. Like you can't even go, well, that was un- unsafe or anything like that. No. Like he just accidentally caught him. For those who are who are only listening to us to find out, um, <laughs> which bone was it? I can't just they generally say forearm. That forearm one. bone. Yeah, the yeah. arm bone, which yeah. is connected to the wrist bone. Wrist bone. Yeah. I was like, what? wait. Elbow? Elbow. Bone? <laughs> elbow. Shoulder bone. <laughs> None of it works. Yeah. The, uh, um, the Spanish bone in people's body. The <laughs> elbow. <laughs> that just sounds like uh, 
I guess ah oh, no, I'm not even gonna do that. <laughs> anyway, um so he, he obviously he suffered a break right right there for those who are watching. It's right? a break. And, yeah, I mean he really needs a break after this. Mm. Um and it literally was like it just basically just caught him with the elbow and you go, What was it elbow knee? Sorry, you know when you doubt yourself. A completely a armless elbow. Yeah, mm. armless it was. <laughs> so like, it's just a freak accident. Like it's yeah. not even like he he botched it. It was just yeah. you know he just, he just happened, didn't tuck his arm in enough basically. Yeah. So as he was, came down, but even that I wouldn't say it's a botch. It's just these things happen. They happen to collide, didn't they? You know, yeah. it's, it's the nature of the business. Yeah. Um, and then obviously I think it was like roughly twenty minutes more of a match with that broken arm as well. So yeah, yeah and and the X ray looks bad, man. It does. So um, this is also a bit of a shame. So in the post-match presser, they thought it was a fracture and the estimated timeline was six to eight weeks, which just happens to coincide with All In. So it's like, he's going to be back. But then obviously... <laughs> it's like, <laughs> x-ray, it's like, they're nowhere even near each other. <laughs> yeah. So um, <laughs> Bray obviously shared that x-ray and was like, it's worse than we thought. So is he not going to be able to make All In now? Or, I mean, Cody's wrestling I think- in the cast. I think he'll be there. I don't know if he'll necessarily wrestle. You may get a spot. He needs to, doesn't he? You may get a spot. I don't think he'll fully wrestle. Because, like, they'll have to reset it, so they're probably going to have to pin it. I'm no expert here, Carl, right? And I'm, I'm pointing at my wrist that no one can see. Um, but they're probably going to have to pin it to keep it in place. And then you're going to be at least, what, two, three weeks before that'll actually fuse mm. a little bit. But it, it's going to be a, a, a long, not a long, long recovery, not the worst recovery time, but, like... Surely he's not going to be in any fighting shape for All In, so they can maybe do a spot, or they can maybe even suggest he can have a match, but they're going to have to make it end quick. It's, fine, it's, it's not going to be what it should have been. You good? It's all good. It's all gravy. But no, it's it's a massive loss if you can't obviously compete. I mean, you just tie tie behind his back. Fucking go for it. Why not? <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, so massive shame, unfortunately. Mm. Um, but it was a good match. It just yeah, for me, it just didn't live up to. The hype, unfortunately, but yeah, I do think it. like I, I'll give you a Kenny. Kenny's match was better. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. By a yeah. mile. Um. But well, in, this was still a solid. In the match. in the post match uh, presser, he did say a couple of opponents he hasn't faced yet that he wants to, and there's some like imagine Daniels and Pack. Mm. For, like fuck me, I want to. Pack's that. having some visa issues right now. Oh, really? I think so. He's so, probably yeah. going to be at all in because the only so. reason he's not. Uh, yeah. Or elite in general is because he has to be yeah. at home. So it'd be a crying shame if we were meant to get that match and now we can't. But. Yeah. We'll see. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you're up for the match, raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, you still do it as well. It's a fuck, wouldn't you? But, um, yeah, that was a bit indoor. Always good, fun stuff. I think um, I'm happy that they didn't build it up too much this time. If you remember last year, like Dynamite was basically just full of New Japan stuff. I think. Yeah, I agree. But I think this totally solidifies Forbidden Door as a yearly pay per view, though. Oh, it does. Um, I do wish they did a better job of. Giving casuals like us, I say yeah, casuals, they, they, but like they are still New Japan. Yeah, they, they are they still are. very much relying on. Well, you like New Japan as well, and don't be wrong. Forbidden Door is probably for people who do watch both more so than us. Yeah, but we like all elite, and we're gonna keep watching it. Oh, so exactly. It yeah. would be nice if they catered to the people who only watch all elite it a little would, bit more, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um. So they need to do that. Um. But yeah, managed a couple of referee stuff and kind of not knowing who some of the people were. Um. Solid card. Match of the year took place right here. And you know, <laughs> fight me if you Match disagree. Match of the year, right here. Um. So spoiler: the eight of the Caney goes to. Um, Damn. Yeah. I mean, unless unless they have a rematch at um All In and they top it somehow, like. Yeah, I can't see another match being as good as that this year. Yeah. I feel um, like like you're just gonna like just hug this guy if you have a I, I will. I will. I'll do more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Show my V trigger. Damn. You know um. But yeah. So all in all, I thought it was good. Good show. Um. As all, you say. All in all. All. All in all. Is that um, another one? Maybe. Wouldn't surprise me at this point. But yeah, definitely as you say. Um. It's made the case now to be an annual pay per view. By all accounts, it did. Um. Great box office numbers as well so yeah fun times all round let's see what happens on dynamite and collision off the back of this as we go into the lead in to all in and um yeah lead in lead in to all in um but yeah let us know in the comments if you are watching this what you thought what's your favorite match do you agree is it match of the year um I, I, i'll stress right now though he needs you to agree it was will We'll never hear the end of it if Will wasn't like, the best thing just, on the page. Just do the right thing, just, you know? just agree with him. Just, um, just put a comment in saying Will Ospreay's great. We agree, Carl, and you'd yeah. be happy. Exactly. You know, it doesn't take a lot, does it? Um, but yeah, so leave your comments, drop your likes. If you're listening to us, um, leave us a review. Make sure you download the episodes. I think you can do that, can't you? Um, yeah. Send us money. 
Yeah. It's the only other thing. Our cash app is. <laughs> Soon we'll be on OnlyFans. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, fun as always. <laughs> it's not coming off until you send another dollar. <laughs> I thought they do, right? Um, I have no idea. So yeah, we will catch you on the next one.